Okay, so now, next, we are going to make sure our texture one copy layer is above the layer one. So we want the texture layer on the top and the colorful layer on the bottom. All right, so we're going to make sure our layer one copy is the one that's selected. And in your layers palette, we're going to change the layer blend mode from normal to overlay. And then we're going to change its opacity from 100% to 50%, which you can just type in. You don't have to use the slider, okay? Now we're going to create another new empty layer. Then we're going to choose Edit, Fill, Content, fill it with white, and then click OK. So now it's filled with white, okay? Uh, and then we're going to go back into our layers palette. And we're actually going to change the fill percent, not the opacity percent, but the fill percent to zero. Um, if you change the opacity percent, it's not going to let us do all the, uh, the adjustments and the effects that we want us to do on this layer. We just want the fill percent to be zero. Okay, so make sure you change fill and not opacity. Now we are going to click on the layer effects menu down at the bottom of the layers palette. That's this little button here that says FX on it. Um, and we're going to choose gradient overlay. All right, and then we get this window, okay? All right, so it should default to a black and white, uh, but if it doesn't, click on your gradient picker and choose the black and white option, okay? Um, all right, so then we are going to change our style from linear to radial. And we are going to change the scale to 150. So that's the, the spread and the width of, uh, oops, the spread and the width of your circle. If you don't, if you're not a huge fan of it, you can always spread it out or make it a little smaller, okay? But 150 works really well, 150. And then click OK. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into the gradient overlay, click the gradient scale here, and we're going to play with our color stops and, and mess with the color a little bit, okay? So using the same color that we used um, to fill the layer with earlier. So using this color, Double click your color stop and type that number in again. So it's A, D, 9, C, 7, 8. Click OK. And then do the same thing for the other color stop. A, D, 9, C, 7, 8. Click OK. OK. Now, again, it just looks like it's filled, but we're not done yet, OK? Um, so now that we've changed both color stops, to the same color. On the top left color stop, we're actually going to single click that, and that's going to allow us to change the opacity of the left-hand side color stop, and we're gonna change that opacity to zero. That's gonna give us a blend from zero into that beige color, okay? Um, okay, and then click okay. And then we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge add. Now, if yours looks like mine, where you see the texture in the background and then it's white on the sides, we want to reverse that. So go ahead and check off reverse. If yours defaulted to look like this, we want to keep it like this. Okay, so reverse it if you need to and then click OK. Now we're going to add some other uh, adjustments to it. So we're going to click Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer down here in the bottom. That's the option or the drop down that looks like the black and white cookie. And we're going to choose Brightness and Contrast. In your Brightness and Contrast menu, we are going to make your Brightness 13 and your Contrast 58. Okay, and then we can close that, and then we're going to add a second adjustment layer. So again, click that 
create new fill or adjustment layer drop down and this time we're going to choose gradient map then we're going to tap our gradient editor choose the black and white gradient Actually, I don't think we're doing that. Hold on. Click this, choose your black and white gradient. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, that's what we want. Um, so you want to make sure it has the white center and the black is on the outside. If it doesn't, click reverse here. Oh, click OK. If it doesn't, you can click reverse here. So if it looks like this, we want it to be reversed. OK. Um, and then while we're still clicked in the gradient map, so if you're not, click back in it. So while we're still clicked in the, in the gradient map, we're going to change its blend mode to loot to we're going to change it to luminosity um, but to get in, back into the gradient map we're going to double click this right here uh, what are you doing? Ah, that's the one okay so up top here we want to change that to luminosity while you're clicked on the gradient map layer and then that's it you've created this really fun, funky texture um, in your background. Uh, if you want to play with colors or anything else, you just go through that whole process again. Uh, we're going to save it um, and then keep it in your Red Bull Design folder.